it's pissing rain all day today. All day. So what do you do when it's pissing rain? You drink tea all day today. I have no less than eight different teas today. Yes, I think so. Yeah. And we also went a little mini tour to the uh, the to low the local. Um, it's the like an old beauty. town square, except it's a circle in Chinese. So, uh, yeah. That's the way I could but that's where it. people live. It's yeah. like uh, that's as if that was the circle. whole village, mm. and that is also very good for. Uh, uh, defending themselves if there's any like uh, uh, not like a mafia but those robbery or kind of stuff happening in the mountains. Bandits. Bandits? Bandits. Okay. Whatever that is. Highwaymen. Robbers. <laughs> yes. And now we're going up the hill a bit to have a full look of it. Uh, yes. Through this trail which I think it's pretty, if you can see where the bamboo and everything kind of provide a little bit of shelter. Mm -hmm. The pamalo up here, whoops, right there, are much smaller than they were down on the plain. Maybe uh, less than half the size. Because we're at about, uh, I think, 650 mm -hmm. meters. So everything's slower, not just the tea, obviously. So here you see, this is the back of the place we're staying. And pamalo, as far as the eye can see, and there is some tea, maybe you can see that up on the hill. And it's pouring rain. And there's mist on the mountains, which is classic Chinese beauty. Uh, so we're walking here. I don't know if you can see the water. Just uh, the rain is <laughs> pouring rain here. The water is just uh, floating down the road. We're walking to an uh, old uh, building here that is local style, pretty unique. And uh, there's also producer doing bashin. Um As we walk, we can smell the baking. That's a swallow. Uh, we can smell the tea baking. And here is a mini pomelo here. Oh, here. In here. <laughs> so, one hand, actually that works. One hand close to you, one hand to the other side. Yeah, yeah, so you can flip that. Yeah. Does it work? Eventually, it should go to the side. Yeah. Oh. I didn't pay too much attention. Yeah, but how much? Ah. Ideally, you want all the teeth to be off a little bit and spin, so so that uh, the tea doesn't become shakes or only the bottom layer got spinned or something. Right. It's really tricky. Mm -hmm. It just looks simple, but when I actually do it, it just doesn't work like that, you know? You gotta know what you're trying to do. Yes. So this is the... Uh, this is the baking. I thought it was really full of tea, but it's actually got a great fill. What, is, what do you mean full of tea? I thought it was full to the bottom. Oh, like, no. Really, really lot of yeah, tea you cannot. Because it, it doesn't bake. Yes, it doesn't bake through. This is more than the first uh, bake already. Mm. This is considered pretty important for thick for baking tea. Oh, 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 I see. If it was first bake, it would be even thinner. Even thinner, yes. Ah. Oh, that's the charcoal. Charcoal. Do they make that? You mm -hmm. 
the bought it. Those are the ashes. See? This is the only guy in the village here to um, still have the charcoal bake here. Lots of them use the electric. Right. Yeah, look at the old house. Feel like this break wasn't. Look at the other side. It doesn't have that stuff. I think maybe there was some repair on that side. This also has straw. This is made of straw. See? Those are straws. Oh, it's real brick. Yeah. It's real, like, quote-unquote, handmade brick. Uh. <laughs> they have uh, fruit and uh, veggies everywhere. The cheese are up there in this region, and the mountain is covered in mist. See, in this cluster here, you can see a, just a one or two, one or two pomelo here because they just naturally fall off. And when it comes, it, when it first grows, it's like Oh, some already fall off. Let me see. But usually those are fall off a pomelo when it starts, like uh, five, seven, eight, and eventually as they grow, some of them will fall off. So on the way to the building, we saw this big tea plant. Mm, the cultivar is Ba Xian. Look at the leaf. And look at all the seeds. It's un yes. uh, unmanaged. Seeds. Ah, this is a vine. This is a vine that grows on tea. There's another one. Look like strawberry leaves. Hmm. This is a field of Ba Xian tea. It's a cultivar now. Hmm. Those leaves are getting old. It's not as uh, uh, famous as uh, other cultivars, so <laughs> they don't even pluck it. These leaves are too old to be made into tea. Really big, like really big leaves. Okay, to my hand. Right? So just a few steps away from the Baxian, this is the more famous, slightly more famous and unique uh, local cultivar, Baiaxila. So you can see the leaf difference a bit. This is the... Uh, yeah, this is a gardenia. It smells so good. That's how I noticed. I passing by that I was like, oh, that's so fragrant. Wow, so sweet and lovely. As we're walking here, we were just uh, looking at the veggies and the tea plants, and suddenly we arrived. This beauty is a it's built in a big circle with one little opening. So here you have a uh, Baxian cultivar here on the floor. First row, second row are uh, Qilan, and this one are Jingquan cultivars. Yeah, you might be more familiar with these uh, as Taiwanese oolong cultivar. Milk cool. Milk cool, right. What? The leaf is really small compared to what we just saw. Mm, yes, because what we saw is really like a old, mature. Really old, yeah. yeah. Well, look at that. You want to see that? In the, yeah. Show the people. Show the people. Okay, focus. Okay. 
Ah, here we go. Let me smell it. Oh. Smell it. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. Those are zongzi. Uh, this is uh, freshly made by Mr. Zheng Zihu. Look at that. It's a little bit early for us. The season is not here yet, but uh, he made that in advance. This is a What? This is a What? This is a This is a This is a 甜的。然后它还有加上那个红豆。啊,红豆,我们那是放红豆啊,什么枣啊,是那种甜的一般。So ah, it's a savory type here. Sometimes they have red bean too, but in my hometown we mostly have the sweet types. So we're opening the uh I expect it's going to be pretty messy, but delicious. <laughs> the sticky rice. Mm. This wow. is homemade. Yeah, I haven't had homemade for a long time. Uh -huh. We used to buy that from TNT. Store bought. That looks good. Okay, I'm going to eat. Red bean. Ah. And mushroom. Mm. Do you like it? <laughs> We're heading into the little circle area of old style buildings. Wow. People live here still? I guess people still live here. There's firewood everywhere. He was saying that his grandfather lives in a original house and he won't move. He doesn't want to move. He's quite happy there. There's uh you have a, having another dart? Let's go see this garden, it's so pretty. So, so there are still people living here. Uh, you see and there's some plants planted. What? Is this a giant gardenia? Pink gardenia? No, that's a, I think that's a rose. It has no thorns. I thought it was rose too, but... Uh, this one? He's talking about this one. Here. I think it's a rose. No. Ah, so there are three stone tops. For rice, uh, dishes, and uh, water. Ah, look at it here. Is that how they collect water? Ah, like loft. The concept here is like a loft. You go upstairs and it's, uh -huh. that's the second stair over there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. They used to live here. I'm gonna go up this really narrow. Okay. I'm good. I didn't fall. <laughs> and here is a mini tiny window. Look out. And inside. Ah! Oh. This used to have rice in it. Oh wow. For rice storage. Ah. What? Oh. 
Ah, all kinds of grain can be stored here. Ah. See the sticker even says, "Wish for great." I smell alcohol. He said, "Smell alcohol." Is there a smell? I don't smell alcohol. I smell this kind of a sauce, like a you know rice the storage? rice grain, like a, mm. a, a little bit yeah, like a malty or super malty, right? malty. Yes, very um, humid and wood, old wood. Mm. Sometimes on Asian poor we say like an old house or old house in China. This is what we mean. Right, right. But you have to be here to smell it to know what does that. Really smell like. Oh, look at the roof. Right. It's a rainy tea garden walk on a very misty day. It's actually pouring rain. The mist going through the mountains is really pretty. Can you see the back? Uh, here, here, here. The swallow. Whoa! Where is the swallow? Uh, behind us. He flew away. Oh. It's actually really pretty to walk in the tea garden in the rain. Swallows going crazy here. Huh, not too much in the tea field. I feel like they're mostly chase this one. They're mostly around the pomelo tree. And you can see the color difference. Over here it seems lighter green, slightly yellower. That's a Huangjingwei cultivar. Huangjingwei cultivar. Here are the others. I think we're getting close to the top. You can see our view from here is pretty spectacular. And we're also coming out of the protection of the valley. The wind is getting a little more strong up here. I don't know if you can see, but the water is streaming down the road like a little river. Is it the top? Not quite. Close though. Hmm, we were at like 650 down there. I'm gonna guess we're around eight or 900 here, but I have no idea. Do you think that's 300 meters? Maybe not. I really don't know. the tool where we were earlier. There's the ladies. You can see the swallows. They're going crazy for a little meal right now. And we got a spectacular view of the other side of the mountain. In another village off in the distance there. Maybe you can't see it through the mist, I don't know. We're still climbing. The swallows are still eating. And you can see that, well, maybe you can notice we're, anyway, we're entering into a cloud. It's getting very hazy all around us. So, yeah. There's the view, the misty view in the pouring rain.
Can't wait to have some more tea after this. And you can see the mist rolling by the mountains. Jen capturing a similar shot to mine, but lower. It's really something to see the garden. We did a little photo shot in uh, used garden. Oh, here comes somebody on a motorbike. Here comes a motorbike. That's the quick way up. I know, I was trying to I'm capture so them. I mesmerized by them. I was doing it all. Whoa. It's actually my first time going in the tea mountains. It's pouring rain and uh, it's actually really fun. Sorry, I keep getting distracted by the swallows because they're so crazy. Feels like they might hit me, but obviously they don't, they don't want to hit me. But And I pluck a little... Uh, Gardenia, so fragrant. We're at the almost the top of the mountain where there are great view of the mist so traveling really fast and um, all kinds of different flowers and little um, fern type of uh, plants. Very beautiful on top. Like, I have to say, I love this raining weather in the tea garden though. Look at me. You see? Oh. <laughs> I'm dripping. Okay, we're back. Soaked. Look at that. Even my front drops. <laughs> and look down. Oh. Let me show you the folks. Ooh. Pretty dry here because we had our rain jackets. Jacket. But when you get down below the rain jacket, Mm -hmm. You cannot tell how wet it is because you cannot see what it looks like. Look at this. Up here. See that? Come here. I think this will be big difference. There's the dry bit. <laughs> My shoes are so squishy. I can feel the... What a great walk now. What a right. great walk to the tea garden in the rain. Unique experience. Right, so we're back. And we're going to warm up with tea. Everybody is soaking wet. This is the after walk in the rain pants drying session. Jim and I have uh, like pants shorts, so we can take the legs off and then dry them separately, which is actually a lot quicker. Unfortunately, uh, Jelly wore jeans, which will probably take about, I don't know, several hours to dry. But we're gold. And I'm sitting here uh, sipping tea with the boys. We're having smokes and having tea. And graciously took us up the mountain in the pouring rain. Something I'm sure they would have never done if it wasn't for us. This is a snack uh, made of pomelo skin. Homemade. Bye. Ta-da! Really delicious. And uh, helps with digestion. I'm gonna have some more. Oh, too blurry.